the unboxing here. So I have quite a few packages here and this will be some of the packages I received in October. So this will be some of the last packages I've received in October. Let's just see what we have here. So this is the first one. Queen's Quality Volume 11. So I think I've done the video before where I've unboxed a lot of Queen's Quality. So I ordered this from Books Please because I wanted to order something else from there. And if you buy two, you get a discount code. So I was like, might as well just pick up another Queen's Quality. Considering I am going to be collecting this anyway. So I thought might as well just pick this one up and yeah. Look, they look so cute here. Yeah, I still haven't started this series, but I have been picking up the volumes. I just can't control myself. <laughs> I'll hopefully be able to review it in my November reading wrap up. I'll probably be doing a October reading wrap up as well soon. So look out for that. And I also need to uh, show you some of the other stuff I got in October, which I already unboxed before starting to film these. Yeah, I have a lot to show you guys. I'll probably combine it with this video maybe. But I hope you all have been doing well. Oh yeah, so this one was the one that I wanted to get and I needed a another one to purchase for my two books and get a discount code. So this is QQ Super Volume 3. This is obviously the prequel series to Queen's Quality, which everyone recommends reading this one first. I can't find the first volume anywhere, but I managed to pick up volume two and three um, on other websites. So hopefully I'll get to Cuckoo Super number one soon. If not, I might end up having to read it online first and then pick it up when it comes available so that I can start this series because it just looks so good. If you're in the UK, this this website is definitely one of the the best for book deals, in my opinion. All right, this one I think is a used book. Someone was selling it on eBay. So. All right, we got this. We've got this interesting packaging situation here. Okay. Finally got it loose. Let's see what's in here. I think I know what it is. Though. Volume 1 of As Miss Beezlebub Likes by Matoba. And I think I got these two for under, definitely under retail price. So I thought it was a good deal. I saw some people on the Manga Dudettes channel talking about this one and I thought, okay, I might as well try it. And I really liked the covers. And yeah, look. The art style is very nice. Let's check here. Very cute. I have no idea what it's about, but I'm interested. Let me know if you've, you've read it before. Right, and I have, let me just turn this. I think this is some of my pre-orders from Forbidden Planet. Forget though, there's a tab here so I can just pull it. And we have it's wrapped again. Oops. Let's see if we can just Oh 
my god so excited guys how do we relationship volume seven? Oh my god i've been looking forward to this so much i will probably be talking about this in one of my monthly wrap ups um because i read one to six volumes of this series in the month of october so i'll be definitely talking about that but basically it is a gl series focused on two characters at the start and it's kind of their relationship how they kind of started a relationship quite quickly from the beginning because they both found out they prefer women over men and so they just start a relationship because they're like why not we both like girls so let's just start a relationship and then it's just how they go through that relationship and how different they are in terms of what they want in a relationship and how compatible they are and they don't they kind of go through those understandings and misunderstandings because they kind of rush into a relationship only because they had, you know, a common factor in which they were both into women. So yeah, this is quite a real series. It's not fluffy, it's not all rainbows and happiness, it's very quite raw. Not your typical, you know, fluffy romance type story. So I would definitely, you know, be aware of that going into it. If you're looking for something like really sweet, like a sweet girls love series, then I probably wouldn't recommend this. But if you want something a little bit different, if you really like, you know, seeing realistic relationships and kind of the trials and tribulations within um, a relationship, as well as, you know, the difficulties of being in a lesbian relationship in a society, especially in Japan, a lot of the time Asian countries like Japan and Korea are a lot more conservative in terms of lesbian, gay, LGBTQIA relationships. People in general, they're a lot more discriminated. So this is kind of like that. Um, there isn't any inherent homophobia that I remember between like some of the characters. It's just more so certain characters are a little bit insecure about, you know, the fact that they're they like girls basically the fact that they're gay so yeah it's a little i don't remember any characters or side characters being homophobic but i think there's you know some internalized homophobia there where they feel like they're not good enough or they're very different because they don't fit in society it covers a lot of really interesting topics this part of the story at the moment after volume six has been really interesting i didn't like some of the characters at the beginning but now i'm really into them so i'm excited to read this i'll probably be reading this today because i opened it um, i'm really excited so hope you guys give this a shot if you're looking for more girls love i would definitely recommend this one if you guys are looking for something like that sorry about that rambled on but yeah really good series <laughs> Tabs are not easy to open, I'll tell you that. But they're just like, there we go. <laughs> Don't know why I find it so hard. And then we have two stuff in here. Ooh, another pre order. Very nice. So, let's do this one first. We got Free Run Volume 6. This one just came out in the month of October, so this is a new release. So all these Forbidden Planet parcels I got were new releases. And yeah, free run. I don't know if, if you guys um, seen this, but I'm sure a lot of people have already. This has been kind of floating around booktube, uh, mangatube quite a lot. Yeah, it's been really good so far. I haven't obviously read that many volumes yet. Um, I've only read like the first two, so... I'm not 100% sure if it gets like really action packed or exciting after that, but it's been really good so far. And yeah, I'm interested in continuing this hopefully this month in November. And then I have Daughter of the Emperor. So this one is also a new release. Um, I haven't read the first one yet, and I know I hold the first one in my previous unboxing video. Um, so this one is basically about an emperor 
who has a daughter and i think this girl gets reincarnated is this the one where the, the girl gets reincarnated as a baby oh yeah i think it is yeah so this there's a girl that gets reincarnated as a baby and i think she's trying to prevent her ultimate death because I think the father kills her in her first life. She's trying to prevent that now um, with the knowledge that she has. And I think that's just how the story goes. I think it's her journey to grow up and try to change um, her fate basically at the hands of her father. This is really interesting. This is a manhwa. So it's um, a Korean comic yeah and i know a lot of the publishers have been releasing more korean comics recently which i'm really happy about so i am all for supporting the ones that come through so yeah this one was a pre-order and yeah hopefully i can start it this week uh this week not this week this month <laughs> yeah let me know if you've enjoyed it i know um not many people have really talked about this one so i'm very intrigued to try it out for myself Here's my little haul for the end of the month. I think, yeah, this one was the last haul that I've got for October. So I purchased quite a lot in October, honestly. But yeah, that's, that's all we have. All right, we'll see you in the next clip, guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to the second part of my October haul. So these are some of the volumes that I purchased over the month of October that I have already unboxed or I bought them in store. So yeah, let's just get on to the rest of my haul. I think I purchased in total, I actually have no idea. I think I went a bit crazy this month. Let's get into it. So the first thing I got, I got this from Forbidden Planet um, near where I live, which is Hell's Paradise Volume 11 by Yuji Kaku. So this series is the one that's already finished and it has 13 volumes in total. I've read the first volume, I really enjoyed it. it I was intrigued, but I wasn't 100% sold on it, but I really wanted to keep reading. And the anime that's coming out soon looks absolutely amazing. The trailer looks so good. Check out the Hell's Paradise trailer. The music sounds amazing and the animation looks stunning. So I definitely wanted to pick up this series and read it before the anime started. But volume two, three and four have been out of stock for months. Like when I first started collecting this series, even before that, people had said they were having trouble getting it and I've started to see 2, 3 and 4 come into stores online but they're obviously when you have them in store at Forbidden Planet you can get a 3 for 2 offer because it's a Viz title and that makes it around like £6.66 per volume which is an amazing deal and so I can't bring myself to buy the rest of the volumes online just yet at like eight pounds so i'm really waiting patiently for them to appear in store so if anyone ever sees forbidden planet in london or anywhere else in forbidden planet you see the restocks of two three four and even uh, volume number ten i'd be so happy for you guys to let me know because i just want to get them and read them all in one go yeah so i bought volume 11 i have volume one um and then five six seven eight nine and then eleven so i'm waiting for two three four ten and then hopefully get 12 and 13 when i get the earlier volumes but yeah this series is really interesting it's very it's one of the dark three which um is basically the three darker shonen series which are out currently so it's hell's paradise jujutsu kaisen and chainsaw man which are the dark three of, of sh the shonen genre at the moment but yeah it's basically about a guy who i think he committed some kind of crime so he is basically on death row and they have gathered gathered a bunch of these type of people who are basically on death row to adventure a weird kind of island aka hell's paradise which is full of weird creatures and they're kind of sending them to their death by going on this island but they need to find a type of elixir of life 
for the emperor or something like that so they're basically sending these people to find it and if they can find it if the person can find it will be set free and be able to live and so the main character not this guy but there's a main character in here who basically is on death row and they've been trying to kill him but he has been able to not die through all these like torturous events because basically he loves his wife too much so <laughs> which i find great i love that um a man that loves his wife so much that he just cannot die i think that's amazing i heard there's a lot of death in this and so i am definitely interested to continue this once the volumes come out because oh, i just i don't want to read the scans i just i want to i don't even want to read it online um i just prefer reading stuff like this in physical format especially ones with like a lot of you know action and it's quite dense in terms of um like there's a lot of dialogue you know in these volumes so yeah hopefully it comes in stock soon and then another shonen series that is really popular right now is spy family i've been watching the anime and i've absolutely loved the anime the first uh season of the anime and i obviously had to pick up the manga form this original form and I heard the manga form is, format is really good. It just expands on the story that's been going on in the anime. I'm not 100% keen on this character. I think this is Yor's brother. Everyone seems to really like him, but I don't know, I'm not, I'm not feeling him. I feel he's a bit iffy. And apparently there's a character introduced here, which is this lady who people also really didn't like. So I'm interested in what role she plays because I haven't seen her in the anime yet. I do really love this character though, Damien. He is he's one of those Sundara characters that I really love. I have a soft spot for Sundara characters. They're like, you know, when characters, you know, hide their emotions, but they secretly like someone. I really like characters like that, so I'm excited to see the development of him and his friendship with Anya as well. Next one is a big haul of one series and that is oh, let me get over here <laughs> it doesn't even fit in the frame okay let me move these it is it is fushiki yuki so this is probably one of the oldest shoujo series that i have in this haul and look back when viz volumes or manga were 5.99 a piece that is madness <laughs> but yeah um this was printed by golang's manga i'm not sure if they're around anymore i haven't really heard about them but this was also by golang's and viz i have some of the viz ones here but fushi yugi is basically probably one of the older well what started off as the izakai series because the main girl basically gets transported into another world so technically it's an izakai but it's like a historical izakai i think this one obviously came out and was published before izakai genre was even a real thing so yeah this probably paved the way for those kind of um stories but yeah i'm sure most of you who have read shoujo or are into shoujo will know fushigi yugi it's just a classic among shoujo readers and Yu Watase is very well known for her work such as like Absolute Boyfriend which I read a while ago as well and then she also did something else, uh, Ceres, Ceres the Celestial Legend, she also did that one which I also haven't read. I never actually got into her, her work um when i was younger my friends at the time had this whole series but i never actually borrowed or read it and i remember her absolutely loving this series and the reason why i didn't really try this series was i think because i thought it had really mature themes and when i was a teenager i was like it was for older teens so when she had it i think i was like in year eight which is probably how old are you when you're in year eight but basically i didn't give it a chance because i thought 
it had mature themes and I was trying to be an innocent kid and yeah <laughs> um but yeah look oh my gosh look this one it was even 4.99 that is so crazy when manga was 4.99 guys yeah I, I really wanted to revisit this series now that I'm older so I can you know maybe understand the mature themes I got these volumes all used um, from World of Book. Pretty much got the whole stack for a really good price. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. See some of the, obviously the spines are a little scuffed, but as long as they are readable, I'm okay. Like this one is crazy yellow. And sorry about the lighting, by the way. It started suddenly raining, so the lighting just is a little bit off right now, but that's all right. So you can see the spine in this one isn't too hot. But yeah, these, this series is really old, so I'm not really surprised. And this one has loads of like scuffs and marks on it and like stickers. But yeah, I got it for a really cheap price, so I'm not complaining here. But yeah, that's Fushigi Yugi. One, two, what is it? 15. And then next I have is this series. I'm in love with um, the Villainous volumes. One, two, and three. So this is volume one. So this is basically a Villainous Izakai story. I haven't read this yet, obviously, because you know I buy things and I don't read them straight away. <laughs> but yeah, this looks really cute. But basically, um, this corporate worker Rei Ohashi finds herself reborn as the protagonist of her favorite dating sim. It's the perfect opportunity to do what she's always wanted: seduce the villainess. In her previous life, Ray had no interest in the princess the game had to offer. She only had eyes for Claire Francois, her nemesis. Now armed with her extensive knowledge of the game and her undying love for Claire, will Ray finally be able to win over the woman of her dreams? Okay, this sounds really cool. I like, I actually haven't read a lot of villainous manga at all, so I wanted to try the GL version as well, and I did pick up a few other villainous um, mangas recently so i'm excited to try this one it looks really pretty as well the covers are gorgeous i'm always up for trying out new gl series once they come out because i want to support them as much as i can and then we have a really interesting one that i saw in forbidden planet thigh high i I don't know, I didn't know what this one is about at all, but I saw this. These muscular men in skirts and tight shirts, and I was like, yep, gotta try it. The art style is really cute, but yeah, it's just very episodic and it's just about their high school life. These guys in their cute uniforms, and you get some thigh shots. Yeah, it's just, it's just a really, it's like a gag manga, I guess you would say. Like, it's nothing very serious. It's just something you pick up to have a laugh. And yeah, it's, it's quite fun. That's Thigh High. <laughs> Let me know if you've read this one and what you think of it. And if you'll, you'll pick it up from the cover, because that's what I did. And it was three for two. But yeah, that's it now for everything i got in october so here we are these are all the volumes i got in the october plus all the the two unboxings i did that i've already put out so far so yeah everything yeah let me know if you're gonna pick up any of the ones i've mentioned today and as always, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my videos. And I'll be releasing as well a October manga reading log, just so I can go over what I've read. In the month of October, I read about 25 volumes of manga this month, which is not too bad. Um, I'm hoping to read more in the month of November. 
hopefully that will come out soon but this one was the last of my october haul yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you again in my next video bye everyone